Hey everyone, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. Uh, tonight I'm going to be talking about uh, some of the craziness uh, that has been occurring uh, in the unopened pack market. Uh, for those of you that follow my channel, uh, or even for those of you who are just uh, collectors of unopened material, or if you, uh, you know, just follow the market or pay attention to, you know, um, um, current happenings in the hobby, uh, you know that the unopened uh, product market is just insane right now. Uh, to give one example, uh, a box, a, a cello box from a sealed case of 1989 Fleer at the Baseball Card Exchange website is now $89, right? Uh, three months ago, this was a box that was $49, approximately. Uh, and so, whether it's, you know, junk wax like that, or whether it's the, the, the actual vintage unopened material, uh, rack packs, wax packs, full boxes, cases, whatever it is, Unopened is so hot, and the prices are so crazy, and the sharks are out, man. They are out, and it's hard to win some of this stuff. Uh, I had a lot of success prior to this market explosion with making deals with uh, uh, sellers on eBay and you know sending them private messages and just kind of seeing what other inventory they have. Um, and if you put in a, a reasonable bid, in the past, you had a pretty good chance of winning. You know, I collect predominantly rack packs. You put in a, a decent bid on a rack pack or a respectable bid, you had a pretty good shot of winning. Now the prices are just so crazy that I, it's it's almost, even mid 80s stuff is, I, I'm, I'm almost priced out of the market to tell you the truth. Um, and to give a few examples, uh, a few weeks ago I bid on a, one of the rack packs, I like to try to, get at least one rack pack from each year from 1978 to 1985 and I try to get at least one product from each manufacturer in the years when Fleer and Don were in the market right uh, and so one rack pack that I currently don't have in my collection I don't have any 1985 Fleer and so I found an 85 Fleer pack that had a Dwight Gooden rookie card on top pack was in nice shape uh, seemed like a really clean pack uh, starting bid was high. Starting bid was $100. Uh, and I thought, okay, I can bid maybe 110 on this. That's a very healthy bid for a 1985 Fleer pack. I mean, but it has Dwight Gooden on top. 85 Fleer is a tough rack pack to find. So, okay, maybe it's worth it. I'll put a $110 bid on this. Uh, lost, uh, I think, by $2.50 or, or by $2. I think it went for $112. So, lost that one. Um, about three or four days ago, I was bidding on a 1985 Donruss rack pack, and this one was pretty cool because it had a Don Mattingly Diamond King on top and, and a Kirby Puckett rookie card on top. So it has two, you know, of two really great players showing on top. The Kirby Puckett, which is probably the best rookie card in the set, that or Clemens, right? Uh, and then in addition, you have a Don Mattingly Diamond King. Really cool pack. Uh, put a very healthy max bid of $115 on it, lost that. Uh, the, and the minimum bid was maybe $20.1999 or something like that. I, I bid early or with about a day left. I bid strong. I came out strong. First I bid, I think, $80, got outbid. Uh, like maybe half a day later, bumped it up to $100, got outbid again. Weighed one last throw at it, bid $115 and lost. Uh, and so this is 1985 Donruss. This is 1985 Fleer, you know. So it's just it's just ridiculous. And and the, the, I mean, I mean, what I said when I said the sharks are out, you know, it's it's a shark tank. It, it, these are these these buyers are serious with the prices they're willing to pay for some of this stuff. Uh, and I just can't afford it. Well, I could afford to pay it, but then I'm gonna have to go sell a few things to to finance this into into the into my monthly budget, you know, and that's no fun to have to part with something you really like to, to you know, get something else. Um, so it's just, it's just tough, man. It's tough. Um, and then the final story, uh, I, <laughs> last night I actually was proud of myself. I got a, uh, I found a, a pretty decent deal, a very fair deal, I should say. I got a, a three wax, wax rack pack lot, three different uh, uh, wax racks. 1984 Fleer was one of them, which is a very tough 
uh, wax rack. You've seen a couple of those that I have in my collection if you follow my channel or watch my videos regularly. An 86 FLIR pack, which is now, if you can believe it, about $12 a piece for an 86 FLIR rack. Uh, just crazy. Uh, and then an 87 FLIR rack, uh, which are about $10 or $11 a piece. Uh, and these are, um, keep in mind, all three wax racks, right? So three wax packs in each of these uh, rack packs. Uh, I, I, when I, I get these three uh, for a very, very fair price, and I uh, emailed the, the seller today to see, do you have any more 84 FLIR wax racks? Because these are, again, they're rare, they're tough to find. Uh, so, I, so I was hoping maybe we could work out a deal if he had more. Uh, the dealer said he had six more, and I said, great, um, maybe I can get one more from you, right? Uh, we couldn't agree on a price for the for the pack or he, the price that he quoted me for the additional pack was just a little bit too much. It was a little close, a little too close to market price. And, you know, for the sake of, you know, uh, uh, trying to keep the monthly uh, card budget in check, you know, trying to make it through August uh, uh, with having a little bit left over, <laughs> uh, I, I, I backed off and said, you know what, I, I have, I have two at home already. This will be my third one. I'll send this to baseball card exchange at some point to get wrapped. That'll be three. That's great. Uh, he sends me an email later on anyway, and he said someone else already uh, uh, made a deal with me on these. These weren't on eBay, right? So someone else uh, 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 tracked him down or saw that the, the, the lot sold and found him and saw that he had an 84 FLIR rack that sold, found him, and then, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, made a deal with him for all of them. So... It's a, it is a shark tank out there, and it's, I'm not, I, I kind of, I guess I can blame myself for that one because I got excited when I got the, the, the lot, when I found the 84 FLIR rack as part of this lot, and I posted about it on a vintage pack group on Facebook. So someone probably clicked the link and then, you know, saw that I'd gotten this and then contacted the seller. So maybe it's on me, you know, but it would have been nice to be able to get one more of these if I had so ch chosen. Uh, rather than just be told that I've, I'm already working on a backroom deal with someone else on eBay. So it's just, it's tough out there. It's tough in the budget. I mean, you, you really need to have a, a thick, you know, or a, a, you know, a thick wallet if you're going to uh, go after some of this stuff. I've got some really cool rack packs that are currently being authenticated at, uh, at Baseball Card Exchange. I'm not going to show my hand on what those are, but i got some really cool stuff coming. Uh, some of the coolest packs that I've ever, that I've ever, uh, uh, gotten uh, and those were buy it now's on eBay uh, but I had to pay up for those too you know you pay up for this for the quality um, and this stuff is disappearing and people want it and people are willing to pay exorbitant amounts for this stuff so uh, crazy times but uh, let me know what you uh, what your thoughts are about this or on the video uh, you know do you like this when I just come on and, and tell stories or you know to me, you know, it's not just about showing cards, right? It's about talking about the hobby. So hopefully you found this enjoyable. But either way, let me know what you think uh, below. Hope you all have a great night. Stay healthy and uh, keep collecting vintage baseball.